Hunger and Homeless Awareness Week, and Behind the Scenes of the Tempest. Get set, Roadrunners. I'm Larissa Salomon. Your week starts now. Hello and welcome, Roadrunners, to a brand new edition of TWR. My name is Kevin Kenny, and as the temperatures drop here in Mawa, I am staying warm in my men's quarter zip. You can find out more about this and a whole lot of other stuff by checking out the school bookstore on Facebook. Speaking of the bookstore, they'll also be open for open house on Sunday, November 17th from 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Now, I'm standing outside the Sharp Theater inside the Berry Center, and in just a little bit, I'll be going inside and sitting down with three of the stars of The Tempest. But first, let's toss it over to Larissa, who has exciting news about Hunger and Homeless Awareness Week here on campus. This whole week, Ramapo College is celebrating Hunger and Homeless Awareness. As a part of the festivities on November 18th, the college will be having the Eva's Kitchen Volunteer Event with the CCEC. Come join the Civic and Community Engagement Center as we volunteer at Eva's Kitchen, one of the fantastic programs generated out of Eva's Village. This program serves lunch to 350 people, 365 days a year. We will be helping prepare and serve lunch and assisting in cleanup and other tasks afterwards. We'll be leaving the Bradley Center at 9.45 a.m. and arriving back to campus at approximately 1.30 p.m. This is a great opportunity for students looking to fulfill their 20-hour service learning requirement or just a great volunteer event. Please remember to drop off your $5 refundable deposit to Roadrunner Central to secure your spot on this service project. Thanks, Larissa. I am back here in the Sharp Theater now, high above the set of the Tempest. Now, the Tempest takes place on a remote island where Prospero, the rightful Duke of Milan, plots to restore his daughter Miranda to her rightful place using illusion and skillful manipulation, while also seeking revenge on the very people who exiled him. I'm standing here with Malcolm, who plays Prospero in The Tempest. Malcolm, what would you say is the most interesting aspect of your character? I would say the most interesting aspect would have to be the fact that out of all the things he's gone through in his life and being put on an island for 12 years, away from his family, away from who he was as the Duke, that in the whole end, he actually just forgives everybody. To do something of that nature, to forgive someone after you've been wrong, is a pretty big thing. Pretty big, you know, role to take, I would say. And Prospero is a very powerful character. Yes, yes, he's a, he's a behemoth of a character <laughs> with um, mixed emotions and who he is. He's all over the place. He's very sweet to his daughter and then he's very angry at his servants. Or he can be very stern or very loving sometimes to his servants. So he's pretty moody, I would say, at all times of the day. <laughs> <laughs> a, a complex guy, yeah. uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. But thank you and I can't wait to see your rendition of the character in the play. Uh, we're going to send things back to Larissa. Uh, who's somewhere on campus talking about Hunger Awareness Week. And I'll be back in just a little bit with Christina, another star of the play. Thanks, Kevin. And yes, as I said before, over the next seven days, Ramapo College will be celebrating Hunger and Homeless Awareness Week. In addition to the Eva's Kitchen event, be sure to stop by SC136 as the CCEC will be hosting its So You Think You Know the Struggle event. Do you know what it's like to not know where your next meal is coming from? Do you know the community partners that are working hard every day to help those who are struggling with hunger and homelessness? Listen and ask questions to community partners and volunteers who are working hard to try and solve the food poverty in our community. In addition to gaining a greater understanding of these issues, CEC credit and FISC points are available to all who attend. Thanks again, Larissa. I am still here in the Sharp Theater, high above the set of the Tempest, but this time I'm with the female lead, Christina, who plays Miranda, Prospero's daughter in, uh, in the Tempest. And you were just telling me, Christina, this is your first college play, and a play of this grand of a scale, uh, it's got to be quite the experience. What's it been like? It's, it's been crazy because um, everything from the, the actors to the sets to the lights to the props, it's been ten times grander than anything I've ever experienced in high school, and it's wonderful to be able to learn from all these people who have so much more experience than me. Oh, wow, and so we're just a couple days now from opening night. What are the feelings like? Apprehension. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so many nerves, but uh, I'm hoping that when the lights come on and everybody's in costume, we'll just, we'll just hit the nail on the head. Yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for taking the time. Uh, the play opens on Friday. We've got one more interview, uh, and we'll show you some footage from that play right now. Cradles, follow. No, I will resist such entertainment till my enemy has more power. Oh, dear father, make not too rash a trial of him. What I say? My quote, my tutor. Put thy sword up, traitor, for I can 
here disarm you with this stick and make thy weapon drop. Beseech you, Father! Hey, hang not for my garments! You just saw him in his role as Ferdinand in The Tempest. Now I am here, standing with Sean high above, as I like to keep saying, uh, the set <laughs> of The Tempest. And it's, such, it's such a set that I, oh, yeah. it's really, uh, it, it's taking my eyes away. But uh, tell us about Ferdinand. You and I were just talking off camera about, it's a very high emotion character, arguably volatile character. Tell oh, you, yeah. Like, tell us a little bit Definitely. about him. The, he's in this ship that is, he gets in a shipwreck right at the beginning of the play, and he thinks that he is the only survivor. He walks... He walks on stage, his first entrance on stage is him lost on a desert island and he thinks his family is dead. <laughs> so right off the bat he's, uh, he's a little upset. But, um, and then a huge change, he sees this girl and immediately falls in love with her. So just, Miranda. Yeah, Miranda. So uh, those are some big emotions right there for right. sure. F uh, out of all of the characters you've played in your, your acting career, what oh, is, uh, where does Ferdinand rank? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I've done some pretty intense stuff, <laughs> but uh, I don't know because the energy will amp up the more I do it. And once we're actually under the lights and with the costumes on, it, it might get bigger and bigger, but it's up there. It's definitely up there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking the time, Sean. Yeah, it's sure. been a pleasure meeting everybody, the cast and crew Great alike. Stuff, yeah. The Tempest opens this Friday. Tickets are available in the Barry Center box office. Be sure to go see it. As for me, my name is Kevin Kenny. For Larissa Lohman, that was This Week in Ramapo.